Welcome back, everyone, as we take a live look from our Skywatch Weatherbug Network, Pearl's Oyster Bar in the Vista. Not a lot of traffic on Gervais tonight. Hopefully that will pick up because it's really going to be criminal in my mind to not enjoy the beautiful weather. Let the fresh air in as you sleep tonight. 65 degrees currently. Only made it up to 72. Typical high 84. As we look now from our Ferry Chevrolet Weatherbug camera along St. Matthews, the Regional Medical Center sign there, we're at 62 degrees, a high of 73. We topped out at 71 at the Opera House in Newberry. We're looking at the downtown Newberry skyline where it's 59 degrees right now. Bottom line, it was a gorgeous day. And as we look at more locations across the Palmetto State on the Weatherbug Network, 60 for you in Charleston. We have got 64 in Hilton Head, 63 in Myrtle Beach and Saluda at 60 degrees. Everyone topping out in the mid to low 70s today. Tonight, a little chilly. That colder air has settled in. We're looking at 40s, but back into the 70s by tomorrow. Here's a live look at Skywatch Doppler radar. We have got it scanning the South Carolina sky and much of the southeast, and it's a different story from last night where things have quieted down out there. We're not looking at any shower or thunderstorm activity. Really, if you look at the bigger picture, beautiful conditions courtesy of high pressure that settled in. I know I got to enjoy uh, sitting out on the patio at Harper's earlier tonight for dinner. Great nachos out there, by the way, and you can see that it's just the perfect conditions across the southeast for that. So basically what's happened over the last couple of days is we had that warm, humid air and you can see the colder air now has pretty much just spilled into the region and that's going to hang on. And it's basically what you could call a weather taxi. Taxi comes in, it picks up that uh, warm air and then it drops off the cold air and that cold air is going to hang around before more warm air rolls on in and is dropped off and the heat and humidity return as we head into next week. So the breakdown as far as future watch goes, well, you can see as we put it into motion for you, there's not a lot to talk about during the day tomorrow, but there is a weak frontal boundary that is west of us that I'm going to keep a watchful eye on because I'm still seeing the minimal chances for some afternoon showers on Sunday about a 30% now. So we've upped it a little bit since we last spoke on Watch Fox News at 10 o'clock last night. Regardless though, tomorrow, another beautiful day to enjoy. Likely a few afternoon clouds, much like we saw today, but all in all, sunshine and pleasant temperatures will be the story. 56 degrees at midnight, 49 at 3, and 46 degrees at 6 a.m. And then tomorrow morning, still got some Little League games going on. So depending on the time of day your child plays, sunshine at 8 a.m., 53 degrees. Lunchtime game, 69 degrees with sunshine and just a few clouds with that sunshine. 78 will be the high, a light west southwesterly wind. Your seven day planner from 78 on Saturday to 80 on Sunday. Again, the late afternoon showers, something I'm keeping a watchful eye on. Meteorologist Lauren Oleski will have the latest tomorrow night on Watch Fox News at 10. 79 come Monday and then the slow warming trend back into the 90s as we roll through much of next week. Daryl and Bree.